Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own PvP game in Roblox Studio 2017. So let's get started. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get updates on my videos. So what you're going to do first is you're going to need a map. So it doesn't really matter what your map looks like as long as it's just a map because no one's going to want to play your game if it isn't a map. If it's just a regular plain base plate with people fighting each other, no one's going to want to play that. But if you just put in a few trees or buildings or something, then it'll be something they actually want to play. You might want to make the sky look cool also, so maybe add in that. And then you might want to add in some buildings. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm going to be showing you first how to do teams. Then I'll show you how to do every player for themselves. But first, to do teams, you are going to want to make two places, basically. A place for the first team and a place for the second team. So we're going to make the second place. This is the first place for the team. Now we're going to... Copy it and make the second place for the next team. Placing it over here and just rotating it around. And there. Now the two teams have two places to be. So next, you're going to want some weapons. So what you can either do is go to Roblox sets, then weapons, and choose a weapon. And... Or you can go to models and search one. So let's just say gun. And let's go to most taken. Let's go down here. So we got this plasma disabler thing. And what you're going to do, it has to have this tool icon. And if it doesn't, it will not work. But you're going to go drag it down the starter pack. And now when we play, it should be in our inventory. So, we got this plasma blaster now. Who knows what it's doing, but yeah, just an example. So, now, if you picked something from the Roblox stuff, you do the same thing. If you want a rocket launcher, drag it on down to starter pack, and then you have your rocket launcher. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, so that's basically how you do that part. But now I'm going to be showing you what to do next. So you are going to need some spawns. So instead of going to weapons, it's time to go to game stuff. And if this is the team part, I'm going to show you what to do now. Now you're going to get one of these in place down there and another one of a different color in place down there. And now they will randomly spawn in and just want pee on one of those teams. And I might do an update tutorial on how to, like, make it where when you join the game, how to choose a team. But I don't know how to do that now, but until then, I might. When I do find out, I'll make a video on it. But anyway, once you got that, now I'm going to be showing you how to do every player for themselves. But even if you don't want to do that, stay tuned till the end of the video because there's still one last step you need. So anyway, what you do for every player for themselves, you just, you don't have to do two team places. You can just make it any old map. So we can just put one tree house in the middle. Then you're going to basically want to get lots of spawns. So you can place them in random spots around the map. So maybe one there. Maybe one up here, and some in here, some there, and you know, just random places, so not all spawning in one place, so it'd be bad because then they could just camp out and shoot you right when you spawn in, and we don't want that, so we just do this. And then maybe one just at the bottom. 
So there, once you got those in, you're basically good. And let me just destroy these teams because we don't want them in there if we're not doing teams. So we'll just cut those out. But yeah, now you will randomly spawn somewhere in there. So like, I randomly spawned here, got my weapon. Yeah. So that's how you do every player for themselves, basically. And then what you can do now is once you got your weapons, your map, chose if you want to do teams or no teams, now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to set up a leaderboard. So you're going to go to Roblox sets, game stuff, and you're going to go down to leaderboard. And then, basically, once you play, it keeps track of your kills. So, up here, it should appear any second now. There, it will track your KOs and your wipeout. So if you were to die, it would keep track of it. So I died one time, so it says I died one time. Let's say I died again. I died two times. That's basically how the leaderboard works. And if you go to the leaderboard section in a game and instead of it saying no results found, it will say all the stats of all the players who have played. So yeah, let's go back into Roblox and I will show you one last step. So basically, music is the last step because music is really, really good if you want to have a good game. So let me type in radio, type in radio basically. You're gonna, okay, one second. Let me go to my models. Okay, so you're gonna type in B E R E Z A A. Just type in that in until you find this. Then you're gonna put it in your game. Now basically. You're going to do this says, you're going to ungroup it, then you're going to delete the decorations. So, you can delete those, so it's not visible. But basically, you're going to go into it now, and you're going to see this, you're going to just delete it. Now, go to roblox.com, you're going to go to develop. You are now going to go to library, and then you're going to go down to audio. So you are going to pick a song. I'm going to have to pick a non-copyrighted song because then I get copyright stuff on YouTube. So then what you are going to do is you are going to go up here. You're going to see this number. You're going to copy it. Then you're going to go down here where you deleted that and you're going to paste it in so basically now when you play the music will be playing but there's a bug where right now on roblox studio where if you play it will not hear the music but it will work if you play it like when you publish the game it will work i promise i've tested that out so anyway yeah that's basically how you can make a successful game but anyway, that's basically how you would do it. I hope you liked the video. Comment what you'd like to see next and subscribe to the Firewolf Gaming. Bye.